It must okay with sound checks everything. Okay. <laughs> Καλησπέρα, καλώς ορίσατε στο Overplay μέσα από το ΣΕΦ. Μετά το Μιλάνο, δύο-τρεις μέρες μετά, ήρθαμε εδώ να κάνουμε άλλη μία special εκπομπή. Έχουμε μαζί μας έναν παιχταρά, ένα στρατιό της Εθνικής Ελλάδος, τον Thomas Wokam. Thomas, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for, for your time. Fun to be here. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, got to get straight into it, though, because that's the theme of the show. Plus, you know, we're working uh, with a time limit right now. <laughs> So um, my first question, you know, is about the team and, and you know, the, the situation that you are right now. You're 15 and 11 mid-February, considering all the injuries, mm -hmm. um, you know, the transfers and everything that's uh, transpired throughout the season. From a scale of one to 10, how satisfied are you with the team right now? Uh, I like where we're at, you know, I really like where we're at, I would say. You know, it's not, I think a 10 would be like, uh, you know, we're sitting at first, no problems at all. Uh, but, you know, seven or an eight, uh, just because of the uh, resiliency that we've showed to this point. Uh, you know, we said as soon as guys started going down and you could see it was a little rocky, we said we just got to weather the storm. And, and uh, so right now, sitting in sixth, you know, we like where we're at. And uh, yeah, it gives us a chance uh, going forward to, to, you know, be in the playoffs and not have to do so much work you know, and depend on others, but always depend on ourselves towards the end of the early season. You know, it's interesting. Uh, after the lo the home loss to Valencia, right, uh, you were sitting eight at eight and eight mm -hmm. after that game, okay? Shaq told me after the game, quote, I wholeheartedly believe coach will figure this out and we'll make it back to the final four. We have a really big team and a lot of good players. Coach will figure it out. Once he does, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. um, has Coach B figured it out? He never didn't have it figured out. You know, he's, he's never not had it figured out. Uh, he's had it figured out the whole time, but uh, there's many moving, m many moving parts, a lot, of, a lot of different variables. You have uh, uh, guys coming from injury, new guys, uh, all being integrated at once, you know? So uh, it's on, as a player, it's a big part of your job is to uh, figure out how you fit in. And uh, guys are doing that, you know, and, and it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, all the best teams in EuroLeague are, are usually teams that have, have a solid core and stick together. So it takes some time, and, and uh, but you can clearly see, um, you know, not just by our wins and losses, but when you when you watch the game, the quality of the basketball has taken a step up because uh, guys are figuring it out. What's it like to be a Bartokas player? You know, we all see that he brings the best out of you guys. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, he's like a he's a player's coach. Talk about the experience of being coached by the back-to-back -back coach of the year. Uh, I feel very fortunate, very fortunate, you know, to uh, to be at this uh, state of my career, still learning. You know, when I first got here, this was a type of system that I've never played in, and uh, I'm still learning the system. I'm still getting better at the system, and uh, I think that's one of the best things about it is you can just continue to get better and better and better at it. Um, but you also you, I've been so fortunate to see that it works, you know, it works so well. So it's easy to dive into. It's easy to believe in. Um, and, you know, he has his system, but then he lets you play, you know, and I love that. Uh, and it's it's uh, it's great to see um, how successful it is, because uh, as a coach, I believe that he deserves it. You know, he sparked a lot of controversy with something uh, he said uh, a few weeks ago about a leader, the word leader. He said mm -hmm. he doesn't like the word leader. He doesn't believe in you know, the leader, he believes mm -hmm. that the team is the leader. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, in the game against Bayer, I saw a leader on the floor. Mm. Uh, in you, that's just my, you know, my point of view, my, my specific opinion. I know that, you know, in basketball, there's different types of leaderships. Mm -hmm. Vocal leaders lead by example. Uh, do you feel like one of the leaders of this team or is, is coach maybe the leader of this team? Could, could be, right? Uh, I, I'm kind of in the middle of that, you know. I think that what he says is, is correct in that. Um, you know, it's not just one one guy leading and a whole bunch of guys following, but uh, guys stepping up in different moments. Um, but you, if you're going to be a good leader, you also have to have good followers and guys that buy into the culture. And, um, you know, I think that the culture here is kind of what he's referring to when there's no, you know, one single leader. But the culture is so strong that uh, as you come here, it's very easy to get integrated into that culture, the winning culture, the uh, competitive culture that we have to where, you know, if things start to go bad, it's like we got it, you know, we tighten things up, we get back on track. And that's that's the culture, that competitive culture that Olympiacos thrives on. You know, it, it's weird because there's guys like Kawhi who mm -hmm. there aren't very vocal. He's one of the best 
players in the game, one of the most mm -hmm. dominant players. Uh, he gets criticized for his leadership. Um, and then you have, you know, like veterans like QD, uh, you don't just ask them who he doesn't play much, but he's one of the leaders of the team. So I got to ask you, do you feel like you're one of the leaders of the team? Like yeah. I, whether it's vocal leadership or leading by example or being able to carry your teammates? Absolutely. I think, uh, um, yeah, I, I am one of the leaders of the team at, at being here my third year. Uh, Papa Nicolau, obviously, um, you know, is like the cornerstone. He's the stone for the team. You know, he is the leader. He is the guy that that we all look to. He is uh, the one putting in extra work. And so that's it's easy to to support that, you know. And uh, but yeah, as the more time you are somewhere, the more responsibility, you know, falls on your shoulders. So, um, yeah, I I feel like I am. I think it suits my personality and um, I'm very honored and fortunate to be in, be in a position where I have been able to stay here and, and uh, you know, be considered as that. Uh, quick detour. we got to ask you about the national team because the games are coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you love Spanulis. Yeah. Uh, I know you've been playing a lot, a lot of minutes. I mean, it's, it's dialed down now a little bit compared to the, the start of the season. Mm -hmm. Had everybody worried. Um, are you going to be available for the, for the games right now in February? Of course, of course. You know, especially uh, with it being his first stint, you know, in your league, it's, uh, uh, it's important, you know, it's important to come out, uh, prove how, how we will play as the Greek national team. You know, this is like a first impression. So uh, I'm very excited uh, to, be, to be repping the national team and uh, to get it started off with his stint. Excellent. So I got to ask you, since you're such a nice guy, you know, you're very friendly to fans, to, you know, opposing players or coaches or anything never provocative or anything. I'm just really, really curious about how other fans treat you on the tree. Do they like Pedaf Nikos fans stop and say, even though you're play for my rival, I like you or they take photos with you and, and how, yeah. how, how's the vibe around, you know, just yeah. walk around in Greece? That's some of the bigger compliments I've gotten have been from serious, hardcore Pana fans that say, you know, yeah, I'm Panathinaikos, but we, but we love how you guys play. We respect how you guys play. And I think that that's a, uh, you know, as a country like Greece, where, where it's knowledgeable basketball fans, not just fans that come, you know, to support, but fans that understand the game, that that does mean a lot, you know. So, uh, yeah, those are, those are the ones that, that I like. <laughs> Game-winning shot or game-winning block? Game-winning shot. Cheeseburger or souvlaki? Oh. Uh, cheeseburger only because I haven't had one in such a long time. Okay. Fredo Espresso or Fredo Starbucks? Espresso. Fredo Espresso. Oh, it doesn't matter what doesn't it's matter. on the other Okay, cool, cool. Fredo Espresso. Drake or Kendrick Lamar? Uh, Drake. Come on, man. Drake. Drake. <laughs> NFL football or European football? NFL football link us today, Super Bowl Sunday. No, 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 no. No thinking, no, no excuse. NFL football, or European football. You got to answer on it, This episode is going to be on Wednesday, so I want to cut the Super Bowl okay. prediction off okay, okay. if you miss it. Okay. Don't worry about it. If you hit it, I'm going to leave it on. So NFL football or European football? Let's go European football. Who's a better shooter, Cannon or Peters? <laughs> pass, pass. There's no pass. Pass. It's this or that. Pass. That's okay, tough. You want me to? I'll make it. I'll make it even harder. <laughs> Game on the line or your life on the line. You know they make, they make life on the line. Life on the line. Somebody's got to take a shot. It's a static shot. Static shot. I'm static shot. I'm going go Alec. Alec. But uh, just like up. more stuff in their bag. I think maybe Kevin. All right, uh, final question to wrap this up. Uh, is there a message you want to send to the fans? What's the goal? Um, win the title mm -hmm. as far as the Euro League or go to the final four? Uh, what should the fans be expecting? Because Isaiah has been saying, you're with us, cool. You're not, yeah. out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> get out of the way. Yeah, you know, so, it feels like we finally have some momentum, you know? So uh, yeah, it's like a like a freight train coming through either, either you know, uh, jump on or get off the tracks. That's how that's how we're feeling, and uh, yeah, the the goals have been the same from the start. Uh, you know, since I got here, my goal is to win a triple crown. So uh, that's that's still the goal, and uh, we're gonna keep going until we do it. So uh, throughout your first two years here, um, you guys dominated Bar mm -hmm. like never before. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they re up now, and it, it's close games. It's mm -hmm. derbies. It's it's games that you know uh, are decided by a free throw, you know, a shot or anything. As a competitor. Uh, is it better to have battles like that? Biting no, means necessary. You, you love it. You love it. You love it. You know, I love the feeling of going over to Oaxaca and there being 20 plus thousand there and it's rowdy. That's 
uh, when I finish my basketball career and I look back, I'm not going to remember the, you know, the blowouts. It'll be the close ones. You know, it'll be those, those are the those are the games as a competitor that you love. You know, so uh, we're very fortunate to be here and get to be a part of that derby. We appreciate your time. We, we don't want anybody to get mad at us. So I'll let you go. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs>